About 18 minutes into the movie, in some of the brainiest pillow talk ever, Lena turns to her husband, Kane, and whispers to him that if you take a cell and circumvent the Hayflix limit, it becomes immortal. What the heck is she talking about, and can we please get that? <laughs> the Hayflick limit is uh, how, many how many times a cell can divide. So there's a limit to the number of times a cell can divide. Um, what happens is, uh, so you know that our genetic material, the DNA, uh, is arranged into uh, uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes. Uh, and when, it turns out when uh, the cell replicates its DNA, there are some problems with the ends. The ends of the chromosomes are called telomeres. Um, in order to, so whenever the cells divide, these telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter, uh, and so that's why there's a limit. There's only, um, you can't go too short. Um, in order for the cell to continue dividing, it has to activate an enzyme called telomerase. The problem is that's what cancer cells do. So they, in order to become immortal, they activate this enzyme called telomerase, and that's how, one of the ways they can transform into becoming a cancer cell and just divide and divide. But they can't, they cannot divide indefinitely because the telomeres keep getting shorter? So normal cells can't divide indefinitely because uh, the telomeres get shorter and shorter. Cancer cells reactivate, uh, in many cases, this enzyme that uh, solves that problem and gets, oh. doesn't let these ends shorten. So it re, um, resynthesizes these ends. At, uh, so in theory, a cancer could keep growing and growing and growing and growing? Yes. And it, yes. And it just doesn't because at some point it shuts down our, it's, its very growth shuts down our human body? Correct.